back into itself, it's happening at about 30 megahertz. So it's about a quarter of a pixel. Mm -hmm. um, so okay. we need to run through some other stuff first to get Such enough a... <laughs> of a delay to actually see an effect of, of How you some do you kind usually of delay. delay things if you need to? Um, running through modules, each module adds a certain amount of time to go through something. There's no like delay module that you can just like crank it down? Uh, like... there, it's possible <laughs> to make one, yeah. Uh, they're not, it's not easy to keep quality and have a variable amount of delay. Mm -hmm. um, it can be expensive and, and complicated or, or sizable. Um, somewhere here, oh, I think I still, yeah, here we go. Okay, this is 200 nanoseconds. Wow. Variable. Okay. So this is, this is a precision delay line um, that is used in industry. These things actually, back in the day, cost a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, and this is variable, so you could feed a, a signal in and then get a, a tap out of it that you could adjust. Um, and I use it for testing to add a little bit of delay and see the effect of the delay. Um, but it's kind of complicated and, and big and expensive to just to add 200 nanoseconds of delay. <laughs> yeah. So, and 200 nanoseconds is only a couple of pixels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Um, now, if you've got a digital process going on, that once you've easy. got the digit, once you've turned it digital and you turn it back to analog, adding a little memory in, then it's really simple because you've already got the groundwork, you've got the building block there. The memory's really cheap at that point and, and just count how many pixels you want to delay it. Mm -hmm. So, but in analog form, adding delay is, is a more complicated thing and maintaining the quality. Mm -hmm. You can define a fixed amount of delay and build a circuit that has that amount of delay. Um, if it's very short, you can keep the quality. The longer it is, the more difficult it is to keep the quality. Um, and, and to have something variable makes it much more complicated. I see. Uh, I have two thoughts. First is, um, um, what about a module that uses some sort of real-time compression, uh, you know, in order to basically maximize how much you could delay stuff? Um, I think I may have told you that I was using a TiVo as a digital delay, and actually, in the end, I actually liked the MPEG compression. You're talking long delays. We're, I'm talking a few pixels. Oh, you're talking, okay. You, you, you're, you're talking like seconds. I was, well, it could go up to 30 hours, yeah. actually, delay. Um, right. but, no, I was talking yeah. like to get a, a, an echo kind of thing or a feedback right, right. repetition, I'm talking a few pixels we, delay. Just to make the feedback show up, we could put it through that IntelliGel folder. It should do enough oh, yeah, to... Oh, yeah, it would definitely I do mean, that. I'm happy to whip it back out if you want to do that. So, Okay, let me take...